Hey guys, it's me, Shitless Cat, and welcome to a new episode of Pop Tropica. In the last episode, we did Pop Tropolis, where you could barely hear my voice. And in this episode, if you can't tell by now, we are going to go to Superpower Island. But first, I am going to quickly, um... Um, let me, let me find it. Uh, where is it? Where's Poptropolis? I want to try and, um, change out of this thing. Okay, never mind. So I can't change it yet, but either way, uh, well, the first thing you want to do is make a superhero costume. Um, super strength walk flying is fun. <laughs> I like these, but basically, if you talk to this guy, do you work here? This is my shop. So, you like comics? I love anything related to superheroes. Do you have anything other than comic books? Let's just. No, we won't do that. Do you have anything other than comic books? I was glad you asked. Check out this awesome handbook I wrote. This handbook, I believe it helps you. Let me think. Let me look at it. Oh, yeah, it's showing you what you need to do. First, you need to get a superhero costume. You can't do it in the store. I remember that now. You want to go into masks and capes. Yeah, it's a really weird stuff. Um, you can choose any of these and basically to customize them. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start by taking this belt and this cape. Except, let me try to see what else I want. I want that, um, sash and the mask. I want from this guy this and this. Actually, I like mask. No, I mask better. On second thought, I'm going to use these pants. And I'm officially a superhero. Now I want to talk to this guy, and he'll say, So, you want to be a superhero, eh? Along with this new sheet, you also need the superpower ID card. And I just realized that my camera proportions are off. See you guys in a second. I am back. So let me go into my items and actually read this. Superhero by Dead Noodlehead. Introduction to this handbook. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, this handbook is super awesome. Sorry, no autographs. Ned Noodlehead with this underwear. Blah, blah, blah. Chapter 1, Superhero ID card. Blah, blah, blah. The Grand Prix uh, Superhero ID. Uh, dress for success, an official villain sticker, just the cat's mouth. Uh, you'll need to find a retired superhero for more information, it says here. This part, that part right there is one of the most important things. The telephone pole, I don't need to use this one. You will in a sec, but first off, we want to talk, oh, there it is, to a former hero. You could look through the entire town for it. But there's only actually one place you can find him. You can only keep on jumping. Or no, you don't want it doesn't matter if you keep on jumping. I just do that to see how close I am to this guy right here. Are you a real superhero? You better believe it, kid. I've defeated more villains than you can count. What are you doing up here? I can't keep up with all these new super villains anymore. I want to be a superhero. There's more to it than having a suit and an ID. Talk to me after you've defeated at least five villains. There's only six villains on this entire island? Police warden and scientist is fine. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this. I really want to check out that Mock Tropica trailer, but I'll do that in a sec. So, yeah, if you can't tell, we want to go over to the prison island. Hey, dude. Who are you? I'm the prison warden. What happened here? I'm Neo at the prison and the convicts have escaped. 
tell me more about the escaped prisoners. Here's our profile reports. You want these? This will basically just show you the five villains we need to catch. The sixth villain is also in here. We're clear to go. What happened here? Wait, no, she's just gonna say that. So the prisoners have escaped their cells. Yes, you'll need these anti-child handcuffs to capture them. Over here on handcuffs, you need this to stop the villain. And, um, let me actually show you the profiles. Uh, this one, examine, the escape super villain. Cerebral, we can deal with him without uh, talking to him. We gotta catch cr Cerebral, Crusher, Copycat, Ratman, and Betty, and Speed and Spike. We can't get Betty Jetty just yet. Betty Jetty is the sixth villain we need to catch. But now that we can do that, we can go right. Go right? Um, yeah, we got these again. Uh, no, I could not beat this $5,000 winner because you give everyone that ad. He's giving that to me like twice already. Uh, basically this bank was robbed and this is where we will catch one of the, uh, people. Ha 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 Uh, not a big surprise that we just have to run toward her and, hee hee, only two weeks back to find all of us. I'm just gonna safely assume that she was a counterfeiter and that that's why she ended up getting copying powers of all things. Why do I, I'm just gonna get that ready. But believe me, we don't wanna do that yet. You might notice that the air gets less fresh every second. Um, that's all we need to do on this floor, I think. Let me check. We'll find out after I do this, hopefully. Basically, we just gotta kill all of the, not kill, touch all of the face. Oh, crud, there's one more down there. I can't get it. And they'll laugh. And after a while, you know, after this gets really, really smoky, some fresh <coughs> air. Alright, uh, I know, that was really, really awful. Let me do that again. Bam. I think something different might happen. I think this time, nope, never mind. I was just wondering if she would just start the second I walked into the bank. Look, yeah, okay. Get back here! You know what I don't get? Why didn't he just pick up the smoker, the smoke, the cigarette, and just put it in his pocket? I don't get it. This one requires the momentum. The momentum. I'm just gonna get this ready, and then I'm gonna go back here. Ready? No, wait, wait. Yeah! Wait, no! Crud. Uh, I will probably just tackle this off screen. Like, oh wow. Uh, I think I'm just gonna deal with a different suit villain. Cause I know I'm not gonna get it on this guy. Probably. Oof. <coughs> we need to fix that. Uh, yeah, we know that. Um, I'll just meet you at the next crime scene. This is probably my favorite. So, I'll uh, see you in a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot, you also do need to talk to this guy. Watch what he'll say. This is his Drake. oh wait, no, it's not this guy. Uh, no seriously, I'll meet you there. Also, up at the top of that tower, so we'll find Betty Jetty. See you in a bit. Um, this is Cerebral. And just to clarify, that Subway does, does let you deal with Speeding Spike. He is, in my opinion, the second hardest. The first hardest is obviously Betty Jetty. Basically, you, I'm not joking, you just have to make him fling the rocks at himself. Before that, you just have to get close enough to him without, you know, dying. Oh, there we go. He's angry and his head pops off. Now you just have to do this. So here's what you gotta do. You have to get this rock, you have to use this rock. Um, is this it? Yes, no, it isn't. Basically you just have to make this rock hit him. Oh, there it is. No, I didn't need that though.
first one, Cerebo loses, Cerebo, Cerebo loses his mind. I, that's actually something I really like this. The fact that they do that. So we've caught one of six villains. So Rebel won't play, be playing any of his mind games. I'll meet you at the next crime scene in the subway. All right, guys, I'm back. We want to go down. This is one of the few times we'll see a go down sign. Um, basically, it's not really a big surprise. You just gotta go in here. Believe it or not, these bugs. Uh, wait, never mind. I thought they were like kill bugs or something. We want to enter the train. These police will basically tell you that speeding spike has taken over the train. This you would think is really easy because really all you have to do is get him onto this water puddle and then make him trip. The problem? Getting him there. Watch this. Dude, over here, dude. Over here, Sonic. He will run to the end of whatever car he is in. See what I mean? That's what's hard about him. And that's why I find him the hardest. Well, the second hardest. Dude. I don't even have to take care of all things. This is the deadliest part of the game. Dude, over here. Come on. Charge at me already. Ah, oh, crud. Dude, over here. Over here, man. Over here. Come on, man. Come on. All right, man. Get on over here. Come on, man. Don't worry, I've taken him down before. But I think I'm actually going to do a different villain right now. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm just going to run past Cerebo. I could do the rat guy right now. He's in the boys' bath. In whatever gender bathroom you are. Um, But I actually want to deal with, in my opinion, the easiest. Crusher. Basically, his stomps will make you vibrate. All you have to handle is not falling off. And just to clarify, it's a lot easier said than done, believe me. A lot easier done than said. Basically, once you get into the here, you have to turn the magnet off. Now that means this falls on it. Ouch! That's all you're gonna say. He'll pick it up and throw it at you. You are guaranteed to fall out of this. Because you're not allowed to move. So this time, wait, what the heck? I have to remember. All you have to do is dodge the things that he's going to throw at you. I said dodge, as in not get killed. Oh. I love how it just shoots out of his body. Just randomly appears. Whoa. Ow. Ow. No. Know what? I'll just cut ahead to when I get to the tower. See you guys in a bit. Ouch. Uh, all right, guys. I'm at the top. Beware. Aw, oh, crud. I was going to say, you can get knocked out from here. I will meet you back there this time after I activate it. See you guys in a bit. I mean, after I uh, get back to the tower. So now that we're back in the crane tower, oh my god, surprise, surprise, we have to turn the magnet back on. You wanna know what that happens? Ouch. That's all I'm gonna say. Ouch is just, you know what? That is just mean. And pos and painful. Cause he literally got his, got all of his vital organs, and probably his bones too, just plain crap. That I know. But, uh, see, even here, Crusher breaks down. Really? Well, um, so we've got two of five villains, so... I'm hitting the close button. All right, whatever. Uh, next time on Pop Tropica, well, we will catch Ratman and Copycat.